What's up, everybody? I just got done watching the um, Fab Five ESPN 30 for 30, and I want to offer my thoughts on it, man. I see, I know y'all seen me with the Michigan shirt, man. I love Michigan State. Don't get it twisted. But, man, that was a classic, instant classic. I think uh, all the parts with Jalen Rose was, was brilliant, man. He kept it real in, in every fashion, and I think everybody that's actually from the hood can relate, people from Flint, people from Detroit, people everywhere. And it was a good thing for the state of Michigan. We needed that right now for somebody to shed light on um, how great the Fat Five was. I was only three years old um, in 91 through 93. I was three to five. So it was uh, great for me to see it, great for me to learn. And it taught us a lot about the history. And um, I got a chance to go down to Michigan a few times and meet the coaching staff and stuff there. It's a great um, environment, and it's good that they're doing good, you know, ahead into the NCAA tournament. So that was good for them, man. And um, I, so I still love my Spartans, but I really, really enjoyed the, the documentary, man. And, uh, it, it was great. It was one of the greatest documentaries of all time. I had to put it in my top three. Um, the only ones I say better is probably Through the Fire um, and maybe the LeBron James documentary. Um, but the Fat Five was an instant classic, man. I just want to um, say congratulations to Jalen Rose. And I really, really wish that Chris Webber would have participated, man. It made him look, I don't know, it kind of shed like, like he got something to hide or something, man. But uh, everything else was brilliant beside that, man. So if you ain't checked it out, make sure you go on Amazon or iTunes. They got it on there. You can buy it. And uh, everybody check it out, man. It was great. Great for uh, the state of Michigan. Um, two thumbs up for Jalen Rose, man. Great job, man.